In this tutorial, we'll look at how to change the primary color in Bootstrap. All right, so I just have a simple example. You have a couple of options to change the primary color in Bootstrap 5. So let's say we have a bunch of buttons. I just copied this from the documentation and we want to change this primary color, right? So the, the cleanest way of doing that is to install Bootstrap with a package manager and that you're going to work with the source file. So I have a video on how to install Bootstrap with NPM and it shows you how to set that up. So assuming that you've done that or something like that, you could have a different folder structure or file structure, that's fine. But what you can simply do is before you include all of Bootstrap, you can just set a variable to primary and this can be any color. So this can be, for example, purple. Right, so now when I save here, I'm, I can use my uh, live SAS comp compiler, right? Because the browser doesn't understand SAS. It needs to compile this to a regular CSS file and that's what we link to here in our H in HTML. Right. So my my uh, extension is doing that. I also have a whole video on SAS. It, it will teach you a lot about how SAS works. Um, but once it's compiled and now I refresh, you can see that this background color has become purple. All right. So this is probably the cleanest way of doing it. Now, maybe you want to create your own like variation of uh, this. So maybe you want to have something like, I don't know, royal purple, BTN royal purple. Right, a bit more complicated, a bit more advanced, but we can do that. So in that case, what you need to do is you need to include, let's see, you need to include both the variables partial, let's see, variables, as well as the uh, function. So you can import that just like you would import uh, this file. And I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to copy this import. And in my case here, I have to pay attention to the to the path here. So this would be SAS, and then it would simply be functions, right? It's a partial, so I don't have to include the underscore. And then what you can do is you can create a custom map. So you can create your custom colors here, and we're only gonna do one, but you can have many other custom colors, right? So instead of primary or secondary, we're gonna create a whole, you know, separate color. So maybe something like, I don't know, royal orange, perhaps. And this could be some kind of orange color, right? So you can pick that here. And then what Bootstrap is actually using is something called theme colors. This is how they set all the colors. So we need to include our custom colors here. Could be many others, right? So we need to sort of merge that with their own theme colors map. So you can do that with map merge and SAS. And we're going to use the theme colors, right? So all the other colors that already exist. And then we want to add on that. We want to merge that with our custom colors. So then what you can do is you can use this name, right? So you can say, instead of primary, we now have royal orange. So if I save here and refresh, now this is orange, right? This is also a clean way of doing it. It's a little bit more advanced, but you, you can get these own, um, you know, classes. And you can even do this with um, built-in variables that they already have. So they probably already have some kind of orange variable. And that's what we can use here because we're, we're importing the variables partial. So now we're setting we're sort of creating a class by using one of their variables, right? So it's still or Royal Orange. If I now refresh, it's a slightly different orange. Uh, this is also a clean way of doing it. What you can, of course, also do, this is this is not clean, but um, let's say maybe you don't want to install Bootstrap like that. Maybe you just want a quick and dirty way of changing the primary color. So you could select, you know, BTM primary in this case in your CSS, and you would just write something like, you know, you would select it, BTM primary, and you would set the background color to red and make sure you include important. And I'm gonna remove all of this, right? So then um, it would also work. Now here you, you're, already, you're, you're gonna get a lot of issues because these, these classes, the way that they've been set up are quite intricate. So they also have a border, for example. So you would also have to inspect here. You would set a border. The border color should also be red, also important. Now you're gonna get more messy um, a more messy uh, setup, but this this works. This is a quick and dirty way. You can also write inline styles here, right? So I can also remove this. You can also just write style and just use background color, um, yellow, and then also with important. This should also work, let's see. Right, so this is a quick and dirty way of doing it as well. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.